Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Esper Legends. This was one of the decks that we really liked playing at the end of the last format. Uh, it, but like this format, we get a ton of new additions here with War of the Spark. This is the first time that we're playing it here in War of the Spark though also. So let's see how it goes. The big thing that we get in this uh, in this set is we get a lot of new three mana Planeswalkers. Well, we just get a few few. I guess I'm only playing one Gideon and a couple Teferis. That's like the, the big thing though, is we get to help fill that slot in. Because before we were playing like two Dovins and two Kayas, which I didn't really love either of them. And we had a couple Izareths in there um, as well to kind of fill out our slot. But I think the Gideon and Teferi, especially Teferi, should help us out there. Um, I'm going to try a Kefnet in here, even though we don't have very many instant and sorcery cards to actually trigger the Kefnet. You know, we're kind of looking at, like, these ones down here, and then, you know, maybe we'll get lucky with, like, a Blast or a Vile Offering. But just a 4-mana four 4-5 four Flyer is just a really good body, and, like, this is a good card to play on turn 4 to have it survive. You know, it's, it's a good good card to, to survive and allow us to be able to cast our Ruinous Blast or Vile Offering um, on turn 5. I'm also also got one each of the really good six mana planeswalkers, uh, so our curve's even a little higher than before because we have the six mana planeswalkers. And I did take out one vile offering from the main deck to try to help out with that. Um, <laughs> there is no no fibble thip. I you know started with fibble thip, but didn't end up having room for it, unfortunately. Um, we got Othakai in here to help out against the aggro decks. You know, another Narset into Fairy for and Gideon for control decks. Um, Disparks just a, a solid spell. We got one of those with another Mortify. Let's give it a try. Esper Legends. Should go better than Marty Aristocrats went for us, I would think. Yeah, I think Fibblethip works a lot better in the Dru Druidic Vow style deck than this one. It's because Ugin is a really strong card, so that's why we're playing Ugin. It just kind of does, you know, it just does a lot. It's just a really strong card. Haven't missed too much. We just started uh, playing Esper Legends here. So we're playing against a Boris Heroic deck. Let's just bounce this thing. Sorry, I'm late. I've got it. Well, that's awesome, because you're not a playing Esper Hero for a day and a half and haven't dropped a game yet. Very nice. I've got time. Hmm. I like a good fight. So Teferi just, you know, slow, slow them down, drew, back you know, replace itself by drawing a card. I'll let the Teferi die here or the Kai if they want either one. How did do you I do think that? Esper is a better choice than Simic Nexus? It's 
It's a little tough. Um, kind of hard to say. Not necessarily. I've been. I think Simic Nexus is is probably I'll the best deck you. in the format right now. But it's just it's just because it's it's so. Like what helps it is that it's just, you know, very linear in like what it's doing, and it does its its game plan Be really gone. well, and people still like you know we're we're less than a week in right like we haven't really f figured out like how to fight the deck quite yet, and the beginning of the format having stuff that does its own thing is is really where you want to go. I could see Esper being the best deck, um, in like a month and a half or two months. Or whatever, you know, I don't, that's a long time. So, you know, like a month to a month and a half, something like that. Now what? Anyway, I'm gonna make myself scarce. Uh, we had a new subscriber. So, get your hype boats in the chat if you haven't already. Thank you so much, Frisky Biscuits, for getting your hype boats in the chat. Uh, Jonalcon with the sub. Thanks, Jonalcon. And Liliana just. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. Eats these things. Alive. Get out of my way. That is just not very fair against the feather deck. What a good mindless minion. So they can like attack in and make two one ones and let me gain five. Oh yeah, right. They make three. I could just I could also I could chump block with the uh, two two and draw a card, but don't need don't really need to. I don't think. Smelly but effective. I don't think we have too much incentive for attacking. All right, because like Liliana and Karn are just going to win this game. I mean, I would assume we would just also be able to race them. Hey, Jelly! Having a blast playing your spicy new war brews. Thanks for the great content. Well, thank you, Jelly. Thanks for the bits. Oh, 910. That's too many. 10 out of 20. With us hitting a sub goal, I'll crack open a pack after this. Let's slow this down. All right, tuck Time that. is much more malleable than people think. Had the two-turn clock in the air. Ugh. So this has got to be a great Urza's Ruinous Blast matchup. I like the Teferi. Um, I'm not sure if I really need like the Mortify Othakaya stuff. Honestly, it seems like yeah, Othakaya they're going to be able to deal with that pretty easily. Um, Kaya doesn't really do anything. Get rid of Kaya. Let's destroy also. So I kind of want to get rid of Vile Offering just to lower the curve. Yeah, because we're going to have all these Ruinous Blasts. That's good enough. A 
I like Tyrant Scorn here too, like bouncing their creature even. Take that one card. No, Mortify is not going to do the same as Othakaya because they're going to have creatures, you know, like for example, Feather. Feather is a 3 4, uh, where Othakaya won't kill Feather. Um, or like their, even like their uh, Arcanist that's like a 1 3. It's kind of, it's easy to pump up their things. Or or like the the Lieutenant. There we go. Like the Lieutenant, if they just cast a couple of things on it, it'll get bigger than 3 Toughness. Or Mortify can help more. Cry the Carnarium doesn't kill very much. It kills like a Danto Vanguard. And the, the tokens from Cranko don't matter. So I don't care about that. Cry just doesn't really kill any of the things that matter. Like 10th Street, 10th District Legionnaire, Dreadhorde Arcanist, and Feather are the cards I'm concerned about. It doesn't help against any of those cards. Now Legion Warboss was a card that I did not know they would have in their deck. And yes. Cry Cry, of course, is very good against Warboss. Right on schedule. No, I am not making this up as I go. I liked Endgame. I thought it was good. I don't know why I didn't play a Shockland on turn two. It doesn't look like I did. Like I've already had two other lands in. It's only a matter of time. Perfect. Perfect card. So of course waiting till there. Waiting till their attack step. In case they'd have like another war boss. We'll just do it now. Hey Zerf. Oh, that still still happens. Rude. Ugh, and they had no, the other war boss. Ugh, and a 10th District Legionnaire. Multiple haze creatures. No. Alright, so now that we've seen war boss and two war bosses, now I'm more interested in this Cryotic Carnarium. I was not expecting war boss being in their deck. And I'm also more interested in Othakaya as well. Both of those. Is a pure blue white control deck viable? I love like the I don't think I don't think there's like a ton of reasons to play white over black. I guess you know you get sweepers like you get sweepers and better planeswalkers in white. But like the win cons with white, you know, I guess you're like just like relying on Teferi, maybe a Kefnet. The one-for-one one removal 
like the cheap the cheap interaction with white is not very good I'll take Game of Thrones season 8 episode 3 over Avengers 4 I, I loved that episode We haven't, yeah, we have not played against Mono Blue nearly as much as we had previously. That's a hasty use of that Defiant Strike. If they're planning on doing that, they should just do that before they dealt damage. They could have cycled in, dealt more damage. That was their plan. This isn't a fight you can win. Here we go. No spoilers. Don't need to... Come on, you don't need to just give spoilers out. Stuff that's happening. Don't do that, please. Hmm. This is a good card, but of course we don't get to double spell here. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Yeah, there could be a spot for old Niv Mizzet and Grixis Control. The problem is you have to build a mana base that's you know really blue and red heavy with new Niv or with old Niv Mizzet, and not so much black heavy, where black offers a lot of other good early cards. So yeah, we need to find some kind of removal for this feather. That thing's legendary too. That's annoying. That would go according to plan. Am I just going to have to keep start del deleting all these messages with spoilers now? Joyve, thanks for the donation. Thank you, Joyve. Yuck. Cry the Carnarium. Not looking good there. Fortunately, Feather is legendary. That's not a very reliable card. Let's see if we can find. See if we can find Mortify. Really want Mortify to kill this Feather. All right, Teferi bounce this thing at least. I know my responsibility. That's more like it.
my current thoughts on Grixis. I think that there's a lot of good cards in Grixis, and like w exactly what cards to be playing in your deck is still you know, kind of tough it was meant to, happen. to decide you know exactly what you want. But there's there are just a lot of good cards in the in the deck and. I'm known for my excellent timing. Trust me, I have um, a plan. Yeah, I'm. I'm excited to play it again later on tonight. Keep working on it. Hey, Zephyrs. Only time will tell. Hopefully they don't have the thing that gives it indestructible. They do. But at least they're using it on the 10th Street, 10th District Legionnaire here, and not on Feather to put that back in their hand. That's awesome, Mitchin. You got your Harry's package today. Um. I can check to see uh, if it did. We're just dead. A feather really messed me up that game. And, you know, I sideboarded. As we saw, like. So that game three. So, you know, like, game. Uh, get to my deck here. So I did not bring in any Othakaya. Or the Cry of the Carnarium, the game two, because I was really worried about those two cards, 10th District Legionnaire and um, and Feather, and those cards just don't do anything against them. And then suddenly in game two, our opponent just had a bunch of Legion War Bosses. And so I was like, well, I should probably have stuff for Legion War Boss. And then I bring in the Othic Kaya and the Cry of the Carnarium, and those were like the kind of cards we were seeing, and they did nothing against the bigger creatures. It's definitely possible I should, like, you know, like, Obviously, it's a new matchup to face, but it's definitely possible I should just board in the Dovin's Vetoes. Like, that's the card that I should be boarding in to protect against their spells, one. And then, two, I probably also fired off, like, my first or second. Like, I think I fired off the Urza's Ruinous Blast too early there uh, in some, like, some of those times, like, where I didn't need to fire it off yet. To, you know, I fired off, like, a Ruinous Blast to get rid of an Arcanist, and then there's suddenly a... a another there's suddenly the 10th district legionnaire where i could have waited and just let my teferi die kind of thing
No, we don't have that many creatures, so I don't have a Petra. Because we don't have very many creatures. We already have a lot of five mana cards in the deck, also. Yeah, I, I've i experimented with having... I have experimented with... I've experimented with having um, Akaya's Wrath in the sideboard. And that would be... That would have been a great card to have in that matchup. I won't hide from the world any longer. I'm getting too old for You know what? I'm not done yet. So they're gonna have Hellkite Haste finish off Teferi? Ah, oh, they're gonna have Spellbreaker Haste. We will meet again. So with Kefnet here, I'm guessing they're going to have Hellkite be a 5-5, five five, and then I'll play Ugin to destroy the, the Hellkite. Or if they're going to just trade this like with Colossus, or like a Shock, anything like that. That's a, I'll just take that, and that's fine with me. I'll just take the two for one. Gives Ugin a better chance to survive in. Shouldn't die to a Shock now. I am ancient and wise. Heed to my advice. Come on. Come on. There you go. This is bathed in ghost fire. No, I don't have a time wipe in the deck. No. Joy, if we are one week into the format. Still expect Esper to be very good. I don't... I don't know how you could say that Esper is not good also. Like, if you're saying Esper is not good, I don't, I don't know how you could even say that. Alright, definitely want the two blasts. Mortify to Spark, Dovin, and Gideon are both very small. Ugin was great there, but I don't know if it will always be that good. We're going to take that out. And I'm going to take out one as Kanta. Oh, the Kaya. The Kaya doesn't do anything. I need to get some better three mana cards in this deck. I don't, I don't know if Dovin and Kaya are good enough. No, Dreadnoughts, I don't do that anymore. I just stay at home stream. As you can see, we're doing our sub battle day this Saturday, as you can see up here. Yeah, we played Time Wipe with Deputy of Detention in that Esper Hero deck, and those those two cards worked really well together. Zexian, thank you very much for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome back for five months now. Thank you so much. All right, looking for lands. Not a land. <clears throat> so I need to get to this Ursus Ruinous Blast. 
and try to be alive still. What do you suggest is a nice deck to craft with the new expansion? Um, I've been having a lot of success with Gruul recently. I think that Gruul could be a good deck to craft. Trust me, you'll thank me later. This uh, might be a bad idea. I'm gonna try, and we we also had some. Yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna block a a three three haste like you know a, a spell breaker. I'm not blocking that for Teferi. Um, <clears throat> back in the crew. Thanks, Zexian. Um, we've had some success with Simic as well, and we're gonna kind of put Simic and. Let's try this. Simic and Gruel together, and see how they work together, going with three colors with the teamer deck that we're gonna be playing after this. Here we go. We're trading Shalai for Growth Chamber Guardian, because then Shalai will go to the graveyard and we can turn Lazav into another Shalai. Uh... Alright, even though we got that win, Angrath has not been doing very much work for us. Let's switch out Angrath. The crueler the opponent. Angrath has not been good. The not been kind to us today. And we're cracking a pack. I forgot to do this a little bit ago, but we got to our first sub goal of the day, so let's crack a pack for that. See if we can get a mythic. I don't think I've purchased a pack like out of these one ofs and gotten a mythic yet. We've only been getting rares. Yeah, another rare. Dreadhorde Arcanist. I have not played any Neoform decks yet, no. Um, synergy between Kefnet and Karn's Temporal Mastery. Uh, it's got to be pretty good. You know, taking the multiple turns. Same with like Kefnet at plus Nexus of Fate, same kind of thing. Yeah, it's got it's got to be good. Kefnet with any spell is just good synergy. So, you know, Kefnet's already a good body on its own of just being a 4-5. So anytime you get an extra spell with it, it's just really, it's just, you know, icing on the cake, basically. Um... What do we got going on over here? Whole lot of burn spells. Lots of burn spells. So, how do you fight Esper decks with the Simic deck with the sideboard? Um, I guess I'd, I'd have to kind of look at it. But you know, if you did, if you haven't, you know, check checked where I played the YouTube channel, see if I played against Esper and, and did any sideboarding with it. That was a good draw. Not for me, obviously, but for our opponent. We have Liliana in the deck. Yes, here, Shikana Z Zator, if that's your question. 
Right, no, I, I understand that Karn's Temporal Sundering would be your turn, like, yeah, that, yeah, Karn's Temporal Sundering is amazing with Kefnet, yeah. But you're also going to have a, a lot of games where you just have your Temporal Sundering with, like, no Kefnet, not able to cast it kind of thing. I will fight with good choice. <clears throat> Karn was just a great draw for us. It has a bunch of loyalty with six loyalty. It's probably not dying. They're probably ignoring it. But now we get to just ruin his blast away all, all of this battlefield. Which is just really good for us. And Karn can dig uh, to look choice. for Lyra Dawnbringer or Shalai. So Lyra and Shalai are like the two cards that we're really looking for here. Curtis Lazav. Are you certain of your decision? Kaya okay, would work. Is it better to play Liliana or Kefnet? I guess Liliana. She uses our mana a lot better. Go towards this minus nine. The undead Next turn will Kefnet plus Mortify either the Frenzy or the Steam King, whichever one they play. Rise! <laughs> I don't know what rolling back that driver means. And it's... Like rebooting modem and router and stuff just doesn't really help. It's just try restarting arena. It's just this Cox internet, this Cox cable internet is just so bad. You know, I'm paying for much, much better internet than what I'm getting here. This will aid us. I like a good fight. Notice I didn't say fair. Was I dealing to you? You won. No, I had guild business to attend to anyway. All right. <clears throat> We're at 11. Oh, this looks like stable, a you know, toy. with the two burn spells, we could be down to five, but we're still stable for now. Uh, yeah, upload speed's supposed to be 30, or, you know, it's, it's usually 30, but then, like, there's just, like, little periods, like, every so often, you know, like, it'll just cut from, like, 30 down to 3 randomly, and then it'll go back to being 30, and then it'll just cut from 30 down to 3, and I, I don't know why it does that, but it'll just, it'll just do that, especially, like, this time of day during, like, peak use hours and stuff, and I, I, I can't do anything about it. I want all these Dovin's Vetoes. I want the Cry of the Carnarium. But yeah, I'll reset Arena here after this one. That usually helps a little bit. 
Get the Mortify. Oh yeah, all these Othakayas. So we got a lot to bring in here. So Black Blade can go. I don't know. Black Blade's kind of cool. Give some other things lifelink. I don't need Vile Offering, and I don't think I really need Blast. Uh, I don't really want Ugin or Liliana. This gives me 64 here. Take out the Teferis. We're at 62. Okay, that's a fairy. We're at 61. And one S Kanta. That gives us the 60. I don't know what a DNS is. But no, I probably have not tried that. We have Mortifies for Experimental Frenzy still, and like Teferi can tuck. We we don't need Dispark for Experimental Frenzy. Uh, it's just so narrow that that's all it does. We got Mortifies in here. Tyrant Scorn. I like having both these other Kayas. Uh, the version we're going to play today, Matt, is the one I'm highest on as far as Grixis goes. Just Othakaya again? Yeah. Yeah, it does lag and get choppy on my side the same time you experience it, yes. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if Teferi can bring this one home. Longer. Stand by and watch. No time for a break. Because, like, the, the service that I'm paying for and that what it is, a lot of the time, is, like, 200 download, 30 upload. But it's just not always that. No, but, I mean, like, sometimes when I check speed, like, whenever it's doing the lag stuff and I and I do speed check, it says that my upload is under, under 5 at that point. So I feel like that's internet problem. That makes sense that it is. Yeah, whenever I so like whenever I tried, I tried calling them about it and everything, and you know they they just they're like try like this like little band aid thing, and then of course at that point my upload speeds are really good, and they're like, I don't know what you're complaining about. Look look how good your speeds are now. It's just like uh, but they're not going to be good in like an hour. They didn't believe me.
Yeah, we I updated the graphics card. And so you're saying like the the new graphics card may not be the best, but I did I up I updated something with it. Well, we're already dead. Yeah, there's there's no way these cards beat. Simic Reclamation if they have a good hand. I don't enjoy I will gladly seeing point out your inadequacy. I'll make an exception for you. All right, so if I if I tick if I tick up we go to 4 and then 6 and then 8 and then we get to ultimate. If I tick down we're at 1 and then we're at 3 and then we're at 5 and then we're at 7 and then we Oh wait, no, no, no. Sorry. No, we go to 1 and then we go to 4 and then we go to 7 and then we would ultimate. So we ultimate the same speed, but then this way our Dovin dies when it ultimates. If I do the tick up it doesn't die when it ultimates. But the other way we get a little bit more damage in, but I, I don't really see the damage mattering too much. My inventions bring joy to me and others. I have not tried any combo decks with the new Tezzeret. <laughs> Nothing yet, phases no. me. All right, I'm glad Kaya resolved. Kaya does a great oh, job really of good. fighting Search for Santa. That was definitely all a anyway. valuable draw step for us. One suggestion, yeah, you think it's RAM? That's that's what it could be, too. One suggestion that I haven't tried with the RAM has been to to open the computer up and clean up, clean the RAM. I've, like, I had to replace a fan not too long ago, and I just kind of cleaned the computer with, like, the air duster, like, on the inside. But I guess there's, like, a way you can just clean, clean like, the RAM card or something with like an eraser i i was sent like a youtube video to try that so maybe maybe that's the problem We played Nissa yesterday, Prep Coin, of the Simic deck that I have that has Nissa that I really like. We left them with zero cards in, in their graveyard, you know, with the Kaya, and they just untap. You know, like, they untap and just flip their Escanta. So much for Kaya actually helping them not flip their Escanta. So much for that. I hope you've said your well, goodbyes then. already. Look to see me no more. These contraptions have their uses.
Options are either like Teferi, try to. I mean, Teferi, Tuck World, and this Reclamation doesn't really do a whole lot. We can like Ru Ruinous Blast, get rid of the Reclamation, get rid of this 1 1 also. Um, we can likely find another one, but at least it gets rid of it. I could like wait and try to Wrath, like to play around a counter spell better. I'm not hitting the ram capital. It's that's not a problem. All right, sideboard time. Got a lot of pretty decent things here in the sideboard, like Teferi, Narset, Gideon to be a faster clock. Hey Rex, welcome to the channel. Alright, so it's not the cleaning thing. Thanks for keeping your sub here going, Rex. I do appreciate that. Yeah, four Grazer main deck could could maybe work in their deck. We played whenever we were playing Mardu earlier. Grazer destroyed us. With Mardu, we faced like a Gruul aggro, a couple mono reds. Those were all just too fast for us. We faced the Simic Nexus once. And like I was just saying, the Grazer really, really hurt us. Um, he just slowed us down too much, and Tamiya was just incredible for him. Hey, Metal Monkey, thanks for that resub there. Being on the two month streak, welcome back. And yeah, we played one other deck, I don't remember what. Alright, we can Kaya next turn. And eat the chemisters in sight. Something we could do. But then we don't have Dovin's Veto up for Wilderness Reclamation. Hey, Yud. I should just be patient. I guess you know we give them the chemistry's insight though, which is prob which is a problem. And Affliction getting the gifted sub from Santa Pyro. Welcome to the channel, Affliction. And Gorum as well. Uh, I do not like this blooming Nexus meta. The good news about it is, hopefully, Reclamation gets banned. I would, I would love for that to happen. I'd love for it to just be too good, and Reclamation get banned. Lixian six one nine. Everybody, get your hype votes in the channel. We 
have Crazy Pyro's making their own hype. Thank you so much, Crazy Pyro. I can get rid of anything, living or dead. All right, got rid of both those commissars insights. That's pretty big game. You're not welcome here. Am I? Now, but not for Dematerializing? Huh. Where does that get us? Is that sub number? That's sub number eighteen on the day. Oh no, it's seventeen. Yeah, there's one was double counted. Okay, but still, that is awesome. So there's like a a good part about the Tamiyo printing and everything making their deck better. With Tamiyo maybe. Maybe that's it. I I I still like really doubt that something actually does get banned. I march into battle as your champion of justice. Prepare for battle. All right, Gideon gives us a, a pretty good clock. Plus, the minus six with Gideon is is a real thing here in this matchup. Said I'll your goodbyes you already. Better watch Just your you back wait. from here on out. Your light will cleave the darkness. They have six cards in exile right now. You can't target Gideon itself. You can't target... You know, Gideon cannot target itself, so you cannot just give Gideon lifelink. You have to target another creature. Doan's Veto is really nice here. Yes, I, I believe this is the first the first weekend for you to use. Yeah, you should be able to use the new set at F and M this weekend. Should be good to go there. I believe in you, friend. I don't think I want to play Narset here. Bravo. I think I want to just hold up the double Dovin's Veto with having Gideon out here. Hmm. That's really annoying. There goes Gideon. Yeah, I should I should not have ticked up the Gideon first. Oh wow, killing Kaya. Interesting. Dematerializing? Huh. JC getting that gifted sub from Santa Pyro as well. Oh, right. Kaya can exile the token. That's why. Right. They can both exile the token. Yeah, I guess I should have gone to combat first. 
One less fiend to fight. Dr. Perry was taken. Getting in on it. And that's a tier 2 sub also. Dr. Perry was taken getting the foil cheers emote to go along with the normal emotes there. <laughs> Why don't we have more people getting hype boats in the channel? Keep getting them in there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just cast the Nexus, take another turn. <laughs> there we go. We've done a good job of, you know, taking out their card advantage things. Counter to you know, a Sahili, a Tamio, two Tamios, a Sahili, and an Azkanta. And there's sub number 20, Choco the Bird. Share in my light. Welcome. Even if we are playing against Nexus here, Crazy Pyro still bringing all the hype with the bleed purples. Thank you very much. All right, so they got the Wilderness Reclamations to resolve. Now, do they have the card advantage still? Taking out a lot of the card advantage things. So they they have infinite mana, of course. Like they already had just so much mana, so. And yeah, the, the Nexus just kind of cycles. As long as there's no, you know, no Ascanta, no nothing like that. Hey, Lumu22. That's my friend Scott. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, like it's it's even like really slow right and laggy right now for me to be like putting hype boats in the channel. Not just arena, it's kind of slow everything. So maybe that's PC. So do I just need to like I buy a new computer? Or is there like is that like what I need to do is it is it computer wise and not internet? Show remorse. Hold that thought. <laughs> we don't have any other creatures over here for Lazav. Not yet, at least. I don't I don't play any other games. I don't really I don't really spend very much time on this computer at all except for the streaming. Like this is basically all I do on this computer is just stream here. I don't I don't do anything else. It's about like this is the computer I've always used for streaming, but it's it's about 3 years old now. Yeah, it's like 3 like I've been streaming for 3 years, so it hasn't really been updated. Too much.
I don't think it's really the card styles because whenever we started, unless that's like a brand new thing, because whenever we started with the card styles, it didn't affect it. So unless that's a new thing. Good triumphs this day. Dang, I want to get rid of both those. Uh, percentage for CPU is at like 70%. Now it's at like 60. It's fluctuating between like 60 and 70 percent. Now it's down to 40. Still at like 40. Oh, now it's it spiked up there to 98% when I was drawing there. Like what, how that little lag spike came in. Yeah, like that was a little bit of lag there. And whenever that happened, no the CPU break. percentage did spike up to 98%. Thank me later. This might be a bad idea. No, that's that's it. Like arena, OBS, like the normal, like you know, it's, uh, Spotify. So I wasn't really looking at the comments of like what that means. That was game one and we won it? No, it was not game one. We had all those Dovin's vetoes. Never mind. Never mind. I was just looking at how we had the Ruinous Blast in. But yeah, never mind. We kept in one Ruinous Blast. I guess I should see yeah I guess I, I could see like what actually raises up the CPU percentage like right now you know it's low again so next time there's a little spike I'll see like what causes the spike I think it was arena from just kind of looking at it where it's at right now I think it was arena
Yeah, Shalai with Flash is awesome. So I just want to make sure we have our Escanta resolve. I feel like, you know, they were on the play if they had their own Escanta. They could have played it the last turn. Like, if, if, if they're going to, like, have their three-mana counter on one of those, I think I would rather them counter the Thought Erasure. Good question. I don't think so. No, I, I don't. I don't really get very much stuttering when I'm not streaming. Like just playing arena on the computer and not streaming. Maybe I should have kept that Shalai. All right, so we'll be able to flash in Narset now. Like, after we untap, you know, if our opponent, like, goes for, like, another Chemistry's Insight, for example, we can flash in Narset. I stream at 2,000 bitrate. Yeah, like, I'm... If you have if you have like suggestions, I'm almost certainly missing it because I'm trying to play as well. Should I cut that July? So yeah, posting in the Discord in like the suggestions part on the Discord that could that could be nice. All right, looking for Urza's Ruinous Blast. How do I beat this Biogenic Ooze? I have a, a home built CPU. Hmm. I don't know how I beat this Biogenic Ooze. None of these are good options. Right on schedule. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. The Simic Nexus deck is so hard to beat. That didn't go according to plan. Basically, just have to draw our Ruinous Blast and have it resolve. There's not really anything else. May not even have the turn, though, to do it. No, we're definitely not having the turn to do it.
All right, two and two with Esper Legends. Let's play one more before moving on to our next deck, which I guess it is already getting kind of late for playing. Oh, it's 6.15. Okay, it's not as... Never mind, it's not as bad as I thought. Reclamation is certainly a whole lot harder to beat after War of the Spark here. Just with all decks overall, I've had a lot less success against it, that's for sure. Um, I don't really have very high hopes for Mono Red. There's a lot of life gain stuff. The, the real thing is, can Mono Red beat Esper in Wellness Reclamation? I'm not sold about it versus Esper, you know, in the sideboard games in particular. Maybe, maybe it's good against Reclamation, I just don't know, I've never played that matchup, so the two decks that I don't play. I faced undead horrors. This is child's play. Right. I want something banished. Funny, that's what I do. You're not welcome I'll here. I'll be back. Just you wait. No hide at Ferox. We didn't hit our land drop to be able to mortify that thing, so let's just what first I wrote an make a jump blocker. Tease on your impending failure. Pack your bags and hit the road. Good, Danga. And I was, I was even thinking about just having the Simic mid range. Just, I don't think I have Crushing Canopies in there, but that is a deck that could definitely play Crushing Canopy. Also, or maybe I do have Crushing Canopies in there. I don't quite remember. Something banished. Funny, that's what I do. Chitter, you're doing me a favor. We can handle two null hides. Like, this isn't too big of a problem yet. We'll see what else they have, though. That thing's a little bigger. I have field business to attend to anyway. Hey, Radio Pinball! Can we get this Mardu control I configured up for a donation deck stream? Absolutely, Radio Pinball. I'll do that one tomorrow for you. Absolutely. I'm inspired by a good assault. Thanks, Ready Pinball. All right, next turn we're going to Vile Offering and get this Galta back into play. All 
I'm really glad my opponents didn't. Glad the previous turn they didn't play their Domri and, you know, fight like my Lyra. And they just, you know, played the Galta instead. All right, writing that down. Alright, we got our own Galta. Blast, blast. Dispark, Mortify. Dovin actually did a pretty good job there. It's really good. You know, it's not good against, like, their trample things, but it's really good against Nullhide. Of just, like, you know, making some blockers for us. Yeah, D Dovin did good there. Let's play Gideon instead of Karn. Let's do that. I kind of feel like I maybe need a little bit more creatures in here for like like our Lazav hasn't really been able to do very much at all with how little creatures we have maybe maybe I just should replace it with Fibblethip so can we survive till turn questions can we survive till turn six and can we get a second white we basically or can we just draw something to do in the meantime yeah, I enjoyed the movie. The movie was definitely good. For today is 5 1 19. Okay, we got second white. Gideon's like our only double white spell that I could draw for next turn, but now I don't have the ability to play. But the whole survive five turns thing isn't really working out. Man, four four draw steps. We didn't draw anything to play before Dawnbringer in our four draw steps. That was not ideal. We probably would have got there on the on the play we might have got there with this deck or with this hand. We technically still have this covered if they have absolutely nothing. We have this covered. Like, if they have absolutely nothing, we could win. But it looks like they have something. Let's let them kill me here real quick. Play that over Gideon. All right, I should get Marty Aristocrats up on YouTube. It's been ready to go for a while. Just have to do a little bit of typing.
At least Lyra won't be our very first play this time. I'm just gonna keep it. If we like p put that on the graveyard and then don't draw land, it's just so, it's just, you know, such a problem. So I'll just keep it, even though it's, you know, now if we draw more lands, you know, we'll regret it, but. If you think I'm crazy, wait till you see my mates. Yeah, there's times where you shouldn't sideboard. Yeah, like that that comes up sometimes. No more getting pushed around. Yeah, we won't answer to other guilds. Go, Dom Ringer, go! <laughs> Nothing disgusts me more than law and order. <laughs> we need to move quickly. Alright, now next turn we get to play Liliana, make, make some tokens. Looks like our opponent has flooded out though. Haven't, <laughs> Have at it, boys. haven't had too much here. Let's skip to the good part. With this deck we have previously we have I do done really cool things with Lazav of you know making a second Shalai. Making a second Lyra Dawnbringer, that kind of stuff. It's not happened today. No, I'm not finished with you. Not by a long shot. But yeah, even whenever Lazav just eats removal spells, like it did like the first game, just ate a Lava Coil, it's fine, you know, you get that Surveil in. Alright, so we went 3-2 with Esper Legends. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. We'll take the 3-2 uh, every time, especially with how Martyr Aristocrats <laughs> did today. Um, yeah, we'll see if we should have Fibblethip with Lazav. Fibblethip, though... Like in Settle is off, Fibblethip just does, you know, like the 1 1 body. It's so hard to have Fibblethip actually do something with the 1 1 body. Lazav at least has, you know, is just a 1 3. Um, but yeah, we we didn't really have like these creatures in our graveyard Raph, Kefnet, Shalai, Lyra. We just never had them in our graveyard to really help out Lazav. And with the rise of three, honestly, with the rise of the three mana planeswalkers, how there's just so many good three mana planeswalkers, maybe just taking out Lazav and putting in more removal like Tyrant Scorn um, or even like Dovin's Veto's main deck, you know, like putting more two mana interaction in the deck because we have good, good cheap three mana planeswalkers and kind of rely on them of like there could be like eight mana where we could drop the planeswalker and Ruinous Blast. Last format, the main reason why we had Lazav in was so that we had a cheap legendary creature that could turn on our legendary sorceries, where there was plenty of times, like with seven mana, 
we could play Lazav and play Ruinous Blast in the same turn if our opponent was like keeping our battlefield clear. Obviously, eight is a lot more than seven. So relying on like a three plus a five is pretty tough. But maybe if we just have like some more interaction there on the two mana slot. Um, but yeah, we got some good upgrades. Teferi was cool. Uh, <clears throat> still lost to Wilderness Reclamation even with all this stuff. I think we need a little bit of a faster clock. Uh, maybe move away from Karn. Maybe more towards like, you know, because maybe we'd like play like a second Kefnet, no Karn, get like some more removal in. So then like the Kefnet's better with like more removal and stuff like that. And, you know, some more of these, more of these things, like maybe even another Teferi Time Raveler. Uh, you know, maybe even have like a full four of them for like Wilderness Reclamation. But we need a little bit faster clock though also against Wilderness Reclamation. That's what we struggled with was actually ending games. All right, uh, that's us for Legends though. We have two more decks to play here tonight. Uh, if you were watching this one later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hope this gives you some ideas if you like playing a Super Friends kind of deck. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much.